If you've never Googled yourself, try it. You might be surprised to find out just how much personal info is out there. Some of it scarily is very real. Some of it's fake. I just Googled myself. Apparently I'm rich and, and I have a wife. So, you know, six one, half dozen the other. It's legal for people to collect your info from public records, though it's often creepy and even dangerous. So how do you remove it? Consumer Reports with some advice on how to regain control of your privacy. Wow, this is unreal. How do they know all this stuff? Constantinos Sophos is shocked after just finding out how much of his personal information is available online. It's a little scary and just unnerving to know that my whole life history is online. Constantino says he didn't intentionally upload any of that information. So how did it get there? Sites like Ben Verified, Fast People Search, and People Finders are part of the vast data broker industry that collects information about people or companies and then sells it for things like advertising. A lot of people don't even realize that there's tons of information about them online. Consumer Reports Yael Grauer investigates online data collection and privacy. Like these companies don't tell you they're putting up your information. And that has the potential to be risky, giving employers, online stalkers, or even identity thieves access to your personal information without you ever knowing it. Things like your current and former addresses, phone number and email, and also the names of your relatives, even arrest records. So how can you regain control of your information? You can start by checking out some well-known data broker sites for your personal information. Often on the bottom of the homepage, you'll find a link with instructions labeled opt out or do not sell my personal information. Some sites may require a copy of your license or ID to delete Eat your data before sending it. Cross out any excess info that might be on there, like your license number or social security number. If you'd rather let someone else do the work, CR says sites like Delete Me, Canary, or OneRep charge around $100 a year to remove your info from a number of sites. This is Marcy Whalen. Wouldn't it be cool if that were just the rule that they couldn't profit off of your personal information, that you didn't have to do all this work? Anyway, rant over. If you do choose to do the work yourself, Consumer Reports suggest you make a list of sites you've opted out of because you need to check back periodically to make sure your stuff has not reappeared. It's never ending. There's a link inside this story on WTKR.com, which lists the major data broker sites you might want to check out.